Also, do you guys remember when you first found out about Uber? Do you guys remember? No. You don't remember? Like the day that like Uber came out? I don't know. No, I mean, I don't. I'm just sitting around being like, it finally launched. No, <laughs> not like that. <laughs> but the first time. And it was a new thing. Yes. When you found out like, oh, you could you could have a stranger come to you and yeah. pick you up. Mm-hmm. I was, um, first time I moved to LA, I got invited to a Kendrick Lamar Hennessy party not like by Kendrick like got invited to this event mm-hmm. and I, that by the way I don't know if anybody knows who King Batch is one of yeah. my close friends I met him there and I asked him for a picture and he, he was like, yeah yeah but we gotta make it quick because he was chasing a girl in the middle of the crowd and he was too nice to say no to me to take a picture because I was a fan yes. and so he was like looking at her ass as he was like and he was like, he was like hey hey let's make it quick and till this day I always end up like, come on, let's make it quick. Because, like, we're friends now. But when I was a fan, I go, you told me to make it quick, by the way. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> told me to, And you did one of these, too. Like, let's make it quick. I was like, okay. <laughs> by the way, that picture of us is so funny because I'm like, I'm, like, super excited. He could give two fucks about that picture. Um, so I'm <laughs> I at this. So I wanted to go to this party, but I had no friends, right? And what did I do when I didn't have friends? I either went to the gym and made friends or I went to the grocery store. And I didn't have time to go to the grocery store, so I went to LA Fitness. And I met this guy named Sam. He was a, he was a really Middle Eastern guy. And anybody who's Middle Eastern knows, no other Middle Eastern is a stranger to you. You could go up, Habibi, how are you? And then, like, that's it. Yeah, you are friends. family Best now. Friends. <laughs> so I went up to him. I was like, so how long have you been here? Blah, blah, blah. We chit-chatted. And um, I asked him. I go, hey, I'm going to this event. I, I don't want to go alone. Do you want to come with me? And he said, yeah. We're still friends till this day, by the way. So I made a friend that's that way. Uh, so... We're on our way there. He goes, hey, could you pick me up? Because I lived here just right across the light to the left. That's where he lives, right next to the in and out So I was like, yeah, absolutely. I'll pick you up and then we'll head there. I'm waiting outside of his house. And I'll never forget this. I'm sitting there like this. And all I kept thinking was, man, like I'm single, right? This is my first time going out. All I want to do is meet a shorty out. That's all I want to do, bro. I just want to meet a girl so I can bring her back to my house. I've never, as a Middle Eastern boy being 20-something years old, you can't bring a girl back to your house. You can't. Unless you want to die. But besides that, you can't. If I ever, I, even girlfriends, friends that were girls weren't allowed in my house at a certain time. Like if it was certain, like the sun went down, I'm like, hi, hey, bye-bye. My, 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 my parents would go, all the guys, no, no, no. Who? <laughs> Sid, Sid, hummus is on its way. You, you, bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. And then uh, her parents are coming to pick her up. So now I'm single. I'm in LA and I'm excited. I'm like, dude, I want to meet a girl. I have a guy. We're going to go up like the movies. And we're going to go to the bar. I'm like, it's LA. There's hoes out here. I've been listening to the music. <laughs> if these ugly rappers could get girls, I could get girls off my personality. Sitting there confidently, all of a sudden, five beautiful chicks just doof, 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 get in my car. And I'm like, what's happening that easy i thought (laughs) sam was like i'm gonna surprise him i'm gonna bring chicks with us we'll be able to get in because for those of you guys that haven't been to the club if you're a guy and you have no social status or you're not buying a table good luck getting into the party like it's very hard it's very annoying i actually bought fake followers and likes to get into a club when I first moved out here because somebody told me like, yeah, if you're an influencer, they'll let you into the clubs. And I literally walked up to the bouncer like, yeah, I have this many followers and likes and I swear to God, he goes, all right, come in. And he's like, oh, but, and so I was just like, I, I was like oh, up. it's fake as shit, bro. That's I took, so yeah, funny. I took a picture from the Instagram app, like the app yeah, like and I took a picture, I uploaded it and I, and I bought Instagram likes. Back then you could do it <laughs> off of an app. You would, and you know what's so funny? If you didn't want to buy them, you could like other people's pictures and then it'll give you points so then they could come and like your picture. Really? Great app. Wow. Great app. They should so, bring it back. So I had like <laughs> four or 5,000 likes of me saying, just posted up at this club. It was a Monday night. Just to give you an example of the nightlife, right? The guy saw that at 4,000 likes and I just tagged this. Yeah, come in. So like I thought in my mind when all these girls jumped in my car, I go, bruh. That's it. We're going to be walking in. Dude. Like Sam brought all these girls. And the Sam comes up to me and he's looking and he goes, who, who are all these girls? And I was like, I thought they were fucking with you. And they're just Bro, all in your car? We drove for like a good two minutes. And I was just like, they're all like, yeah, we're ready. I was like, yeah, we're ready. And I was like, <laughs> dude, they thought they were going to a club and I was their fucking Uber driver. Yeah. And I thought they came with Sam. Sam thought they came with me. So the girls got into the car. Then he came in because they didn't sit in the front seat. 
Look how this fucking worked. So this guy gets into the front seat, thinks that I brought these girls. I thought the girls came ahead of him, got into my car, yeah. and he, they respectfully left the fucking front seat For open. Him, from, yeah. I don't know what Uber is. So I'm like, this is lit, right? So we're driving. He's like, yes. Yeah, so like, how did you know these girls? And I go, <laughs> what? And he goes, how do you know these girls? And I go, what do you, what do you fucking mean? How do I know these girls? And by the way, Little fun this story. is terrifying. This is like a little side note. My mother would raise me like this. George, George, look at me. All girls. All girls are evil. <laughs> Don't be alone with them. I swear to God, they'll say some shit. Don't be alone with them. So since I was a kid, I never have ever been alone with a girl unless I'm like super comfortable with her because my mom has terrified the shit out of me that somebody be like, You're, you know, that guy, asshole. He tried to have sex with me. That's what they'll say about you. And then now, pervert. You're a pervert now. And I was like, okay, first of all, I'm not a pervert, okay? So I'm already traumatized of women, scared of them. And I just kidnapped four. Dude. It's four. Not looking good. Four of them. Two of them are sitting on each other's laps. And I looked at them and I go, where are you? <laughs> where are you? Where are you guys from? No. <laughs> I swear to God. And they go, we're from Wisconsin. We're like coming here for the so-and-so thing. We're so excited. How much until, how long until we get there? And I go, what the fuck? Oh my gosh. She goes, wait, are you our Uber? And I literally go, no, I'm George. <laughs> she goes, no, no. Are you our Uber driver? Never heard the word Uber in my life. And Sam starts dying of laughter. He goes, no, there's a huge misunderstanding. <laughs> and I had a Toyota Corolla. And I guess a Toyota Corolla is hot for Uber X. <laughs> hot. I kidnapped four women on accident because they thought I was their Uber driver. And I had to calmly ask them to get the fuck out of my car. And they literally got, they got mad at us. They're like, why are you fucking driving it now? I go, bitch, you got my fucking car. I didn't fucking, I was like, hey, They still lady. wanted you to drive them after they found out you weren't their Uber No, driver? but they got mad. Why didn't you fucking tell us that you're not? I was like, bro, you got it in my fucking car. I thought you were my friend. <laughs> yeah, that's on you is four girls to double check. You're getting in the right car, hey, bro. Uh, I kidnapped you guys. She kidnapped them. I did what my mother told me not to do. See, this is what happens. Don't tell your kids not to do something. They'll do it just to get back at you. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs>